Hello church, it is just a blessing to be with you today. There is just again so much good stuff in today's, we're, we cannot possibly cover everything but we're going to try, try and nail a few really good things here and uh, I know you will be blessed in the reading today. We're looking at Genesis chapter 10 through 12 and uh, a real quick note to start off with about chapter 10. Sometimes we can be tempted to skip over chapters that have genealogies and lots of names and different things like that. And while that can be a little bit challenging to get through, I want to encourage you to take the time to try and read through that. Genealogies are in the Bible for a really important reason. They help validate covenants that we see in Scripture and throughout Scripture. They also help validate the historical events and the historical accuracy of the Bible. So it is a tremendous gift God has given us in genealogies. And you will also start to notice that certain names appear throughout Scripture. For instance, chapter 10 talks about the descendants of Ham, which we know are the descendants that were cursed by Noah. And thus, you will see lots of enemies of Israel popping up through there. You'll also see that Shem, his descendants, are going to, re are going to be the recipients of the blessing of the Lord. And Shem, for those who aren't aware of this, uh, Shem is the, the Shemites, is actually where we get the derivative or the, the name Semites from, which refer to the Jewish people. And that's actually important for us to understand because we recognize that the covenants of the Old Testament throughout relate to the Semitic people or the Jewish people. And that covenant will ultimately bring us our Savior, Jesus Christ. So don't skip over chapter 10 and, uh, and read through there. Very quick in chapter 11. There's a neat story about the Tower of Babel here. And a point that I want us to consider is in verse 4, where it talks about the people gathering together and saying, let us make a name for ourselves. And this is in direct violation of what Jesus has told us to do in Matthew chapter 6, where it says we are supposed to focus on building and seeking his kingdom, not our own. And so notice that these people were doing something ultimately directly in opposition to how God wants us to live. Not building a name for ourselves, but building a name for him and making his name great. And then I want to look at chapter 12. And there is so much good stuff in chapter 12, but specifically the first three verses speak so clearly about the covenant that we see coming and being fulfilled through Jesus Christ. In verse 1, it says, The Lord said to Abram to leave your country. That's a picture of us leaving our old lives and being saved through Jesus Christ. Then in verse 2, it says, I will make you into a great nation. Remember the covenant that God made back in the Garden of Eden already in chapter 3, verse 15, that referred to the fact that, that Satan's head would be crushed by a descendant of Adam and Eve. That is referring to Jesus Christ. And here we see in, in chapter 12, verse 2, that the blessing to Abram, who would be the father of the Jewish people, is saying that he will be made great. That is, again, a covenant speaking of Jesus, who would be the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And then God goes on to say that he would bless Abram and, and that he would make his name great. He would bless those who bless him and curse those who cursed him. We receive all blessings from the hand of the Lord. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 12 says, everything we've done, really God has done for us. And we need to recognize that we are a tremendously blessed people and we have been blessed to be a blessing. And we got to remember the greatest blessing that we have been given is salvation through Jesus Christ. And so if we are going to be blessed to be a blessing, the greatest thing we can share with people is the, is the salvation message, the gospel message of Jesus Christ. So a few questions we could ask ourselves today is relating to the, to the Tower of Babel in chapter 11, you could ask yourself something like, God, have there been areas of my life where I have been more focused on building my kingdom than building yours? Maybe that would relate to finance. Maybe that would relate to goals that you have in your life. But are you more committed to his kingdom or have you been committed to building yours? And then as we look into chapter 12, a question we could ask is, God, how could I take the blessings that you have given me and use them to be a blessing to others today? And, and, and remembering specifically the greatest blessing is the gift of salvation. And so asking God, God, how today can I use the blessings you've given me? How can I take the salvation that you have blessed me with and share that with others today? 
And then just spend some time listening for a situation that you know you might be, be encountering today. Maybe you know you'll rub shoulders with some people today. Maybe you can pray for a witnessing opportunity. But ask God to show you how you can use your blessings to build his kingdom today. 